Angie, your teen librarian here, back with another edition of Teen Art Club. And today's really fun because we're doing a gallery wall. I don't think you can really see it in this shot, but I have already put the, um, the little hooks we're gonna use to put the pictures up on the wall. And what I did before this was I got all my pictures ready and I spent a lot of time arranging and rearranging them on a nice large flat surface so that I would know how I wanted it to look, where I wanted everything to go before we got to the wall stage because that's a little less um, a little less easy to move things around once they're up there. And then once I did that, all my frames are 8.5 by 11, which made it really easy to just take regular copy paper, put some X's on there where my hanging devices, devices? I don't know if that's the right word, where they would hang, um, and then tape them for horizontal pictures and actually this is horizontal and this is vertical uh, and then I had that all up and then I played around with that to make sure I liked my layout um, and now is the fun part where I'm going to put them all up. What you'll want to do when you're getting ready before you get to the this stage is of course select your pictures, pick a theme, maybe it's a theme of color, maybe it's a theme of words or typography. Um, I did a little bit of a blend. I found one of my favorite quotes by the author Holly Black, who writes one of my favorite series. Uh, it's the Folk, Folk of the Air series, which I definitely recommend reading if you haven't already. And the quote is from a novella, which is a little bit of in between the first and second book called The Lost Sisters. And the quote is, be bold, be bold, but not too bold, lest your heart's blood run cold. And I just really loved it. So I used that to inspire mine, which is not up, so I don't know why I'm gesturing to it and use other pictures that kind of felt on theme with me, uh, representing kind of a fairy tale, magic, wild. And if you know anything about me, we know I love my nature, so there's plenty of trees and stuff in there. Also used a picture of a hawk in the sky, because that is my mother's maiden name, so I always felt a little connected to the hawks. Um, so yeah, let's put it up. Got them all stacked in order. I have to go behind my carriage for so this will be fun. Um, and the fun thing about the hooks I use is that I can rearrange them easily if I decide to put them in a different layout. Got a chair back here because I'm a little too short for some of these.
Seems my way back out here. What do we think? Gallery wall. I quite like it. I think it came together nicely using some different ones that are um, less colored and just the black and white, uh, using lots of empty space. Two quotes because they're from the same series that I love. The second one says, you have only seen the least of what I can do. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you try. Show me what you make. Hope everyone's having a great day out there and finding some good reads. I definitely recommend uh, anything by Holly Black, really, but especially the, the Folk of the Air. It's one of my favorite series. And yeah, make a gallery you all, guys. Show us what you do. I chose an asymmetrical outline just to throw this in there because it was much easier than trying to make myself measure and make sure everything was straight. So this is easier for me and my design style, but lots of people choose a very straight, symmetrical gallery walls, and that's fine too. Yeah, it's your space, so make sure it inspires you. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. We'll see you in the library. Bye!